Hey, it's Pastor Dan from Dexter Gospel Church with the Proverbs Practical. I appreciate you watching. Today's video looks at a familiar but crucial truth related to our happiness. We're in Proverbs 25, verse 24. It says, It is better to dwell in the corner of a housetop than with a brawling woman and in a wide house. Well, this is a pretty recurring theme in Proverbs, that who you are with matters more than where you are. In fact, this is an exact quote of Proverbs 21.9, and it carries the same idea as Proverbs 21.19. The quality of your relationships matters more than the cost of your dwelling. So Solomon warns his son, look, you might have a palace someday, but you'd be better off huddled under a tarp on the rooftop than sharing that palace with someone who's always fighting with you. That's the idea of the word for brawling. It doesn't have to be a physical altercation for it to be a problem. It can be any kind of contention and strife. Living with someone who's always trying to argue, always trying to push for their way, is so exhausting that you'd rather just go live on top of the roof. And this is true regardless of gender, by the way. The term for brawling woman is the same expression that's used of a contentious man over in Proverbs 26.11. The reason it's spoken of as a brawling woman here, probably, rather than a brawling man, is because he's writing this to his son, who is going to be married to a woman, not to a man. But any relationship with someone who is contentious, always looking for a fight or ready to have one, always pushing to get their way, it's destructive and it's exhausting. This is the opposite of the approach of Christ, who was so gentle that he wouldn't break a bruised reed. It's the opposite of what he called to us to be as peacemakers, trying to bring peace where there was conflict instead of conflict where there was peace. It's the opposite of a true servant of God who must not strive but be gentle unto all men and patient. This means that we should be careful in our relationships, that we don't become the kind of people who are destructive and exhausting to be around. We'd have to ask ourselves on every interaction whether we're pushing for our own way or we're doing what's best for the other person. We need to check whether we're being argumentative or contentious and whether even things that we disagree about can be allowed to just pass. And then we should be mindful of the relationships that we're in, that we enter into deliberately. If we know someone is contentious, they don't just make a bad spouse, they make a bad roommate, they make a bad close friend, they make a bad close co-worker, and so on. Who you are and who you are with matters a lot more to your happiness than where you are. I hope this video is a help to you. If so, hit the like button. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, do so for more content like this. Until next time, hope you stay well and live peacefully.